Hello everyone, it's Sari and welcome back to my channel, Trees Meet and Kittens. And for today's video, it's the part 2 of my cosplay DIY video. And I am making your forger's casual sleeveless button up Now you can see here in her casual outfit. For this outfit, I'm going to be using my Somi block torso pattern. I made a video about patterns in one of my YouTube videos, so I'll just link it up there or in the comment section down below. So this is a size medium which fits my measurements. So sometimes I draft my own patterns and marunong din ako, but buying patterns like this is convenient for me because it's one step of the sewing process that's already figured out, so bawas work for me as well. This pattern is a standard cut of blouse. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be editing this. I'm gonna be lowering the neckline here because your has a lower scoop neckline in her dress or in her blouse. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be tracing this on pattern paper and I'm gonna be making some edits to it. And now here is the pattern I made. I traced the block pattern and I made my edits to it. Nakasulat dito 2021 pa because I did this last year, November or December. But yeah, this is how I label my patterns then so I know what year they were made and any other notes ko anong part siya and kung may allowance na ba built into the pattern or none. In this case, nakasulat na allowance. You can see that here. To make marking darts out easier, I tend to cut out those parts. Tapos I just trace it onto the paper. You can see this? I cut it out. That's where you sew in your dart. Then I will be making some facing patterns for my blouse. You don't really need facing but I prefer to do it. As you can see here, I just trace it onto paper. And copied the neckline and the button down part and made a separate pattern piece with that. And this is the separate pattern piece and this is gonna be the facing. You also kinda need the facing to reinforce the buttons kise may button down yung blouse na to. And it goes down to the bottom. Para pag tinahim mo yung button hole and yung buttons, mas may reinforcement siya kaysa pag one layer of fabric lang, which is super nipis. So having a facing or an extra layer of fabric and interfacing there will help support the button and the button hole. Over here, you can see the back torso, the back of the blouse, and you can see I also made a facing for the back. And that's gonna help create a smooth, rounded neckline even dun sa likod ng blouse. And here are all the pattern pieces that we're gonna be using for our your forger blouse. So it's the front torso, the facing, and the back torso. I apologize if this really isn't an in-depth explanation on patterning. I'm just walking you through my process. If you really need a super beginner's guide, I recommend you look up other YouTubers. I'm a self-taught seamstress so I can't really formally teach you in detail how I go about these things. But I hope now watching the process teaches you a thing or two about it. So now I'm tracing all the pattern pieces onto my gray fabric. I know yung KUR medyo darker gray yung outfit niya, but since this lighter gray one is what I have, this is what I'm using. Kasi I'm really trying to burn through my fabric stash. Marami akong fabrics na natira from leftover projects over the years. So gusto ko na sila maubos. I don't really care if it's super accurate. So... Yon. This one is a uh, wool. I think it's an Armani wool or uh, Hamilton wool. I kind of forgot. I'm using pattern weights from Sobe Studios 10. You can see it helps keep the pattern in place. Mga pabigat sila. 
sa buhay. <laughs> Mga pabigat sila sa pattern. And oh, hello, Majima. So, yun, my cat Majima is watching me do this. And sniffing my work. And now, I'm moving on to cutting the pattern pieces. Tinatansya ko lang yung allowance as I'm cutting them. Uh, if I were you, I would measure out the allowances. Wag ko talaga. I'm only doing this because medyo sanay na ako. And kamay ko na yung by eye yung allowances. So, if you're trying to do this neater and trying to avoid accidents, I would measure out the allowance properly. And then after everything's cut out, I would be pinning the darts. Just putting pins along the marks of the darts that I penciled in earlier. I'm doing this para matahi ko yung darts later on. And now, hinihilbana ko yung darts in place. So hilbana is the temporary stitch. You don't have to do it because the pins hold everything in place, man. But I like to do it just to keep everything secure. And now we start with the sewing process. I'm using my brother's sewing machines. I've made a sewing machine video before. You can check it out in my channel or, or I'll link it in the description. So I'm gonna start off with sewing the darts in my blouse tops. That's usually where I start. But I have the darts out of the way already. So if you're a newbie and you don't know what darts are, think of it this way. Yung pattern and yung tela is a flat object, it's a 2D object, and darts are cutouts or shapes that help give it curves so it can curve to a 3D body. So darts, a female form, they're usually on the waist, they're on the bust, para magkurba yun over our chest, and then our waistline and hip line. Here you can see I'm pinning the front facing and the back facing together. I also ironed on some interfacing or pelon to them, the sticky kind, the iron on kind. I did this because I like getting the small parts out of the way I got. I'm going to run this through my sewing machine with just straight stitches para connected na sila. Now I'm going to be pinning the shoulders of the back bodies and the front bodies. So after I've done the darts, let's connect the shoulders next. Pandaran ko lang sila sa makina with a straight stitch to connect them. I'm using pins here so just be careful na your needle doesn't hit the pins and doesn't cause an accident. That's And here's the front and the back connected to the shoulders. Next, I'm gonna connect the shoulders again, but this time for the facing. And then now I'm just sewing the facing that I pinned together earlier. Now after that, I'm gonna be switching to my serger. I'm going to be serging together the shoulder lines that I sewed together kanina. You can see that here. And I'm gonna be doing both sides of course. 
and then after that I'm going to be surging yung edges no armhole. If you're new to sewing, you might not need a serger again. It's a heavy investment, but once you have one, it's actually really handy. It gives a professional finish to your work because it's sealed yung edges, so walang matatastas. I'm also gonna be serging the facing, of course. And now I'm going to be using some liquidy grip on my hands and fingers lang kasi madulas yung kamay ko for some reason, I don't know why. So this helps me have a grip or cap it so I can pin the fabric. Well, I've had this since forever. I got it from the US and I don't know if you can get it locally. But if you could, it's actually really useful. Now I'm gonna be cutting notches then the curves no armholes so notches are these little triangles that i'm cutting out because if you're gonna fold a curved area you'll find that it doesn't want to stay flat so cutting out notches in the fabric will help me be able to fold that as you can see here i'm going to be folding that and pinning it in place with my sewing clips so yun yung armhole area, right? We're gonna be sewing it with a bias tape later para ma-encase yung edge. So if you're a newbie or you don't really have so much equipment yet, you don't actually need to serge the edges. Because we're gonna cover it with bias tape or you can double fold it to seal it. So I decided na hihilban ako yung armhole instead of just the pins to keep it better in place for sewing. Something I just randomly decided on, and now I'm gonna encase that edge with red bias tape. So, of course, it's better if you choose a matching bias tape. This case, gray, but like I said earlier, gusto ko ubusin yung supplies ko, and gray, ha and, and I mean the red happened to be the one I had extra stock of, so ubusin natin. In the end, no one's really gonna see this because nasa loob to no outfit. So it doesn't really matter, but if you're very uh, OCD about it, go and choose gray or black or something in the same shape. I'm going to be sewing along. Like I said earlier, if you kang serger, you don't really need to serge the edges because in this case, we're encasing it in the bias tape. So when it's in the no one's gonna see it. Another thing you can do is you could just double fold that edge sa armor hole so you encase the raw seam inside the folds but personally i find the bias tape thing easier to do so that's what i've done here and here she is so far i just put her on the dress form quickly to check how it was looking you see the parts there and you ironed and this is what we did with the armhole so you can see, nasa loob naman yung red na bias tape. No one's really gonna see it. And this is a clean way to get a curved area for the armhole. Now we're gonna be installing the facing onto the blouse. It's as simple as laying the right side of the facing and the right side of the blouse together and then sewing it together so you can see i already pinned it before and i'm just going along removing the pins as i go and sewing the facing into place and when you're done sewing the facing to the blouse this is what it's gonna look like but you're gonna fold over the facing anyway babalik tarin mo din siya Pag pinaliktad mo siya, nasa loob na yung facing. This is gonna, this is, this is, this is what it's gonna look like. Ayan, diba? Malinis na siya. 
Then after that, I'm just gonna neaten up the edges ng facing by trimming it more with my serger. And fit check on the dress form again. This is how it is so far. I also ironed the edging na binaliktad ko na siya and ironed it into place. You can see na it looks super neat, super smooth. This is why I love doing a facing to clothes. And the neckline. The darts are also ironed into place. I also ironed the arm hold to place, although hindi ko pa natanggal yung hilbana. What we're gonna do next is iron, I iron, sew the side seams together and then do the hem. After that, we're done. We're almost done. <laughs> Button holes pa pala. So, yun, you can see here, I'm just gonna be sewing the side seams. When I've sewn the side seams, I'm going to go through it with my serger again para malinis lang yung edges. And then after the side seam, yung hem naman yung aatopagin ko. First, I'm going to be serging the hemline. I'm going to be just serging along the line that I do earlier when I was tracing my pattern onto the fabric. And here's another fit check. Let's put it on our dress form. Side seams are done from this point. It's actually wearable. Kulang na lang yung hem at the bottom. As you can see here, it's still edging. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be folding that. Tutupi lang natin siya and then sew that into place. And then we're basically almost done. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Just a straight running stitch through that hem. That's it. That's a near final step. Here she is again. Ayan, we can see now that the bottom is already done. I've also sewn the facing in place here with a running stitch. And that's where I'm gonna be putting the buttons. I'm not gonna be showing the process of sewing the buttons because there's a lot of button, buttonhole tutorials there. And I'm not really that good at it, frankly. But this is it. This is your Forger's sleeveless blouse. You can actually use this for a lot of characters then. Here's the back. And here's actually the outfit with the buttonholes and the buttons sewn in. So just figure it out for yourselves, Google or YouTube for button tutorials. And I also took out the mga hilbana here, although it's not a pang konte. You can see the red bias binding we used to seal the armhole. There, she looks cute! And here it is with the Your Forger Bolero that I also made another day. Overall, the gray blouse only took me an evening to make. And that's it for this video. I'm going to be shooting your furniture and I'm going to show you the whole look, a walkthrough of the whole costume next time. I hope this sew along video helped you and gave you an idea of the process of sewing or how you're gonna sew your first blouse. So ayon, please like this video and subscribe if you want more cosplay videos. Thank you so much for watching. Happy crafting!